What's up my peeps, it is now time. You should know what time it is, but if you don't, it is now time for the Hell in a Cell prediction game video. Where I'll be going over every single one of my predictions for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. And I invite you guys to participate as well and leave your predictions for every single match on the card in the comments below. To have a chance at winning the prediction game. Speaking of that, not of champions, the only person to get every single match right was... A loyal supporter, Tom Rise. He got every single match right. So shout outs to you, Tom Rise. The link to Tom Rise's channel, whether he makes videos or not, will be in the description box below. I'd also like to give a shout out to somebody else. Now, this person did not win the prediction game, but shout out to the guy that referred to the Lucha Dragons as the Lunch Dragons. Now, I understand it was a typo, and I'm not making fun of you. It's just that once I saw that comment, I started imagining the Lucha Dragons running towards the ring in their entrance with, you know, some lunch boxes. But yeah, so shout out to you. Shout out to Tom Rise, who actually won the prediction game. And uh, let's get started with the predictions. We've got two Hell in the Cell matches here. Oddly enough, the WWE Championship match or the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match is not one of those Hell in the Cell matches. I think for the past couple of years since they introduced the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view, the WWE Championship match has always been one of the Hell in the Cell matches. But this year, it is not one of the Hell in the Cell matches. I thought for sure, I thought for sure they were going to have Kane versus Seth Rollins inside Hell in the Cell, because I didn't think they'd pass on the opportunity to have the Brothers of Destruction both in Hell in the Cell matches the same night. But I guess I was wrong. So anyways, let's actually get started with the predictions, and uh, let's start it off the way we usually start it off with the kickoff match. Now, the kickoff match here is a match we just saw, I think it was this week, on Raw, it was uh, Sheamus, Rusev, and King Barrett versus Dolph Ziggler, Cesaro, and Neville in a six-man tag team match. Now, the match here in the kickoff wasn't supposed to be this match. Initially, it was supposed to be Dean Ambrose teaming up with Randy versus Braun Strowman and Luke Harper, which I would have liked to see that over this because we just saw this on Raw. So this is just a rematch, and it's not even, like, spaced out. You know, it's not, it's not like we saw this match a couple weeks back. No, we just saw this, like, right now, you know, on Raw. But anyways, Randy got injured, taken out the trash, he dislocated his shoulder. Storyline-wise, though, they'll probably say that Luke Harper popped out of that trash can and hit him with a sit-down powerbomb through it. So now we've got this six-man tag team match instead that we saw on Raw. And on Raw, the heel team won, so because of that, I'm going to go ahead and say that the face team wins this match. Now, initially, I was going to go with the heel team once again. Because I was thinking maybe Tyler Breeze goes ahead and costs Ziggler the match. Because they started this feud between the two. But then I was like, nah, they lost the match on Raw. So this time around, they're going to win. And then we've got Kevin Owens versus Ryback for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, the last time around, I was like, Kevin Owens is going to win the Intercontinental Championship from Ryback. I just don't think it's going to be in their first match. And I was wrong. Kevin Owens went ahead and won the IC Championship from Ryback right off the bat. Their first match. Or at least their first title match. Um, so, this time around, Ryback's rematch. I'm going to go ahead and say that Kevin Owens wins this. And I'm also going to go ahead and say that Ryback's title reign, man. That was like one of the worst Intercontinental Championship reigns ever. I mean, he won the championship. He defended it against the Big Show in his first title defense. That ended via disqualification in favor of the Big Show. Big Show is about to win. And then he wins a triple threat match by stealing, basically, Big Show's win, or his pin. And then he loses the title. But anyways, yeah, he already lost the title. I think Kevin Owens wins this. Initially, I thought Ryback would win the first match, and then maybe the second match Owens would win, but since Owens won the first match, and now he is Intercontinental Champion, I don't think he's going to lose it right back to Ryback right away, so I don't even think Ryback's going to take the championship back from Owens, so yeah, I'm going to go with KO for this one, and then we've got the Tag Team Championship match, the New Day defending their titles against the Dudley Boys, a match I feel like we've already seen a hundred times, why is it with every single tag team feud you see the match so many times you see it on raw smackdown main event super uh, is, is superstars even on if you if it is on on that too we see it everywhere like all the time 
<laughs> but yeah, so the first match, you know, or at least the first pay-per-view match, New Day lost, or actually, yeah, they, yeah, they lost. But you know, they retained the championship, but they lost via disqualification after the 3D. And then on Madison Square Garden, the same exact ending, 3D disqualification. So right here, I don't think it's gonna end via disqualification once again. Xavier Woods, storyline wise, is taken out, so he's probably not gonna be there. So now it's just Kofi and Big E versus the Dudley Boys. So it's two on two, or two versus two. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Dudley Boys go ahead and win the Tag Team Championships. If you guys remember the last time the New Day was facing off against a team two on two and it wasn't all three members of the New Day at ringside, they lost the Tag Team titles to the Primetime players. So this is the second time and they're only two. They don't have a third person at ringside, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that they lose the Tag Team titles here and we see the Dudley Boys uh, become 10 time Tag Team Champions here. Following that, we've got Charlotte versus Nikki Bella, the rematch for the Divas Championship. Now, the reason why I went with Charlotte in the Night of Champions match and I thought she was going to go and win the championship was because Nikki Bella was running out of opponents to defend the title against. And it's still the case here. If Nikki Bella just goes back and wins the championship, she still doesn't have that many opponents to face off against. Any new opponents to defend the title against. I mean, I guess Big Becky would be a new opponent or a new challenger for the championship, but that's about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that Charlotte wins this match and retains the Divas Championship. After that, we've got Seth Rollins versus Kane for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And if Kane loses the match, then he is no longer director of operations. What I think is that after Hell in a Cell, Kane will no longer be director of operations. What that means is I think Kane's gonna lose this match. And I think this one's pretty damn obvious because for the past couple of weeks, well, ever since Kane returned, he's gotten the best of Seth Rollins every single week. Week after week, show after show, Kane has either choke slammed Seth Rollins or hit him with a tombstone pile driver. He's basically kicked Seth Rollins' ass every show. So he has the momentum going into it. And he has it in a big way too. And we have the momentum in a big way like that. 99% of the time, you're going to go ahead and lose. Especially for Kane. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that Seth Rollins wins this match. After that, we've got Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt in one of the Hell in a Cell matches. And when it comes to this one, this is pretty easy for me. I didn't have to do too much thinking. I think Roman Reigns is going to win this. I'd like to see Bray Wyatt win it, you know, just because Bray Wyatt really hasn't gotten that big win in a feud. He hasn't ended, I mean, he's ended feuds with, you know, with getting the win. He's gotten the win at the end of feuds, like his feud with Dean Ambrose. Um, and I guess his feud with Ryback, but that wasn't really a big feud. It was one match and that was it. But, you know, in a feud like this, I'd like to see Bray Wyatt once in a while get a win to end the feud and not have him lose to end the feud but I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose <laughs> so gonna go ahead and say Roman Reigns wins this match by the way I will be going into more detail on all these matches in my simulations of those matches so if you want more detailed predictions check out the simulations of the matches and after that we've got John Cena's United States Championship Open Challenge now this is one of the parts I'm looking forward to the most at Hell in a Cell just because I think this is going to be something big, and there's that surprise factor. We don't know who it's going to be. There's so many possibilities. It could be a big return. It could be face versus face. It could be so many things. It could be so many superstars. So, instead of asking you guys to predict who it might be, because there's so many possibilities, instead, go ahead and predict who wins the match. Just let me know if you think John Cena's gonna win the match, or if you think his opponent is gonna win the match. If you think his opponent's gonna win the match, just simply say, opponent wins the match. As far as who I think is gonna win the US Championship match, I'm gonna go ahead and say that whoever answers the challenge is gonna become the new United States Champion this Sunday. If you wanna know who I think is gonna answer the challenge, make sure to stay tuned for my open challenge video, which will be up on Saturday. And for the main event, Brock versus The Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell. I think that the Beast, Brock Lesnar, will win the match. 
So that's it for my predictions. That's not for you guys to give me your predictions in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can click the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. With that said, I'm out. See ya.